A Johannesburg man has set a new South African record. He jumped almost one meter into the air. Sounds easy, not according to Kasanta Bada. Today I'm feeling quite fluey. I'm not gonna make excuses or anything, you know, but um, I'm sure I can get a bit higher. I'm good at that. But yeah, I'm kind of a pathetic girl. Yo, my name is Amin. This is Benjamin, my son. Um, this is Yubin Height, episode 12. Wow, you're asking me to dust the showers off now. Um, so I went to go visit a cousin of mine, and uh, it was raining that day. I was about eight years old. They had this like driveway made of concrete, and there was like a couple of potholes in the concrete, and they were pushing on these on these broken roller skates on planks that had pieces of carpet on it on the knees. And they were like playing tag, going through the potholes, and I was like, ah, that looks like a, that looks like fun. And uh, I had some roller skates to so my mother. I'm going home to break my roller skates because they didn't fit me. She's like, yeah, cool. So I went up, chopped them in half, put them on a piece of wood, put the carpet on it. Next week, we went back and we were playing tag. And that was the beginning of it all. After that small board, I then went to school and I went to a private school in Johannesburg and uh, some rich kids. And one of the kids came back home from, well, it was like beginning of the year and uh, his dad went overseas and came back with two Santa Cruz boards. And these guys was like standing with their boards in the crack and they were like doing little ollies and I was like, fuck, these guys are ollieing with skateboards. Not that I knew what ollie was, but they were getting hyped. And I was like, that's amazing. Activating mom and I was like, that's it, I need a, I need a big skateboard. And I went and I told my mother and um, that was around like September sometime and she made me wait until December the 11th. I made a note of that date because that was the first day I got that board and I was like, I looked at the rails, looked at the trucks, I was like, 11, 11, I must remember. And uh, yeah, I, I remember 11 of December was the day I got my first wide board. And uh, that was the beginning of Olling, where I first started Olling. And um, yeah, that was how I thought, basically I got from banana board to what we know now as a skateboard. <laughs> Jeez, in Johannesburg, there were always competitions. Um, I actually can't remember when was the first competition. Um, Boogloos, Mulky Lane, those were the competitions that, that we grew up with. Well, everybody should have known this tune is special. Artists should have known that we keep it in Bro, local. It says among the fire, but now we keep our crew. See them action, them you can't never run away. Us. Look for them who want fight the rudimentals. Yep. But we have the exclusive, expensive style. Yeah, it's all about the rudimentals. So I'm telling this. I would definitely say, and it shocks me to say this, because it's not my favorite style of, of skateboarding, but this cat's smooth, man. Tofik Rabanano. That guy's a magician. He's an all time, like, he's just super smooth. He's, he's it's sorcery. He should be wearing white shoes. Like, magicians wear white gloves. That guy should be wearing white shoes only, strictly. Tofik is a magician. Definitely. What do you love most about those missions? <laughs> I love like exploring. Like okay. the town we go like to places I've never been and like there'll be something small on the road and I'll just try it out and it turns out it's like a great spot. Yeah. Wake up feeling fresh, health intact, so me feeling blessed. And we get some smoking, relieving stress. Through the mentors of the streets in dress. Some of them are on the place, but me least impressed. Okay, yeah, so Viking was uh, was an interesting time because it at, at the time or before that there were no there were no South African black pros and basically myself, Wandile, Mark Simpson, um, we were the first South African pros that had some color to our skin. Um, there was a company called Skates National back in the day. Um, I think they had, they had Sven Martin on there. 
Um, there's a couple of vert skateboarders, but that was about it. So we've got two here. That's the first one. Um, which we all had our faces pretty much spent on. Mine was silver. And then the other one, the second one was the V8 inches. Mine is the biggest one of the lot. At the time, eight, 8 inches wide. Still my favorite board. I wish I had more to skate. Wow, you know, skateboarding has changed a hell of a lot since the time I started. It's gone through so many phases, so many stages. It, I think it died twice and came back. You know, if you told me that skateboarding being where it is now, when I started skateboarding, I'd say you don't. There's no way that everybody can love skateboarding. Everybody can well, you be, be doing it. Girls will be rocking it. I would be like, this is not true. But it's true. It's happening. And, you know, I think the progression that skateboarding has taken and where it is now is it's out of control. And there's so many different genres and styles and, and things happening in skateboarding. I mean, there's even skateboarders that aren't skateboarders that are skateboarding. You know, they've got those like, yeah, this, I mean, I'm not going to say it, but there's things happening there in skateboarding that is not skateboarding at all. But at the end of the day, you know, skateboarding is, like I said, so hardcore, you can't front. And it's going to, you know, it's no way out. And the real skateboarding always does stay through and hang in there. And the old Olympics, the, you know, the, the big brands, the big sponsors, the, the rockstar skateboarding, that's got to be there. I think there's a place for everything. There's a place for the jocks. There's a place for the, the Hessians. There's a place for the, the hip hop cats. There's a place for everyone. Um, the girls, the, 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 yeah, the downhill skateboarders, um, even the poses. There's a place for the poses and they belong in the mall, you know, and everyone gets their, their air time. And at the end of the day, we're all having fun on these four wheels. Yeah, you know, like everybody's got mixed feelings about the Olympics, you know. Um, when I think of, of my own skateboarding, it's not Olympic skateboarding. It's it's not Olympic skateboarding at all. Um, but if I think of my son maybe being in the Olympics, I'm like, I get excited. I'm like, wow, that, that's pretty cool, you know. Um, but I, it's, yeah, I, like, like I said, there's a, there's a place for everything, you know. Um, it's hard to even, you know, like, like for example, gymnastics in the Olympics. It's been there for many years. Um, it's judged by people and it's an art form with ability involved as well. So the best, or the person who wins the Olympics isn't always necessarily the best because it's judged by someone's opinion. You know, um, it's, it's not about winning a race or being the fastest or the longest or the, you know, or the highest. It's, it's, it's a flair of your personality that gets judged by someone else who has a personality that may not like what you're doing or may love what you're doing. And uh, it depends on your mood, depends on their mood. So I don't think the competition is, is, is I would say, trustworthy. But the event and the, the scale that happens on is inspiring to many people. And that is what I do enjoy about the Olympics. Um, but, you know, competition in that sense becomes to an art form. Even, you know, just regular skate competitions, it's, it's someone's opinion. Advice. Um, I don't think I'm wise enough to give advice, but, you know, when it comes to skateboarding, Try find a way to enjoy it because when you're enjoying it, that's when you're gonna, you know, really push it and, and take it to a point where maybe someone else hasn't taken it before because that's your magic, that's your power, you know. Um, yes, you'll have the things that you want to do and you can go out and try it and you can work at it, but you'll find in doing that, you're definitely gonna explore your own form of skateboarding and you're gonna stumble across something that you didn't expect, and that is the magic. That's what you look for. Look for your magic and be aware that it's there when you do see it. You know it's all about the road one time. You can run away, you can hide. Road boys find you anyway, anytime. Shoutouts. Dude, are you ready? I would say the first 
one is got to be Grove Brink, Rashid. Um, these are cats from Joburg. Um, Terence Neal, Dallas Oberholzer, Steven Dlamini, Apex, Obi Wan, Ralph Margo, Gerard, Denoxy, Quentin Peterson. Um, these are the people that I grew up skateboarding with, and back then they were they were better than some of the pros that I've seen, like you know, with, with names on their boards. These are the people that uh, were under the radar and did it for the right reasons. Um, Edo Bong, my first uh, shop sponsor. Um, my mother, jeez, my strongest sponsor. <laughs> she was my strongest sponsor all the years. I mean, she took me to hospital every time. Um, she made really good friends with the, the x-ray lady. And um, yeah, and my mother, she put up with a lot of, I would say, disasters. Um, on my side and only now that I've got a son doing skate skateboarding as well do I realize what I put my mother through and uh, I definitely need to, yeah no big shout outs to my mom that is my all-time sponsor that without her there's no way I would be where I am now or I've gone through what I did um, and then definitely the Viking crew Donovan uh, Rob One Delay Mark Simpson you guys you know we shared a moment in life that was irreplaceable um, and, and and will never be forgotten um, and then yeah my boy he's he's taking in my footsteps and uh, it's exciting watching him grow and it's nice having someone in my house saying we gotta go skate and uh, keeping the fire under my ass so yeah I know there's lots of names I forgot because it's been a long journey man shout outs I, I could never thank everyone Michael Sutcliffe my goodness, he is the original ninja from Durban. And if anybody has influenced my skateboarding to a point where I tried to be like them, it was Mike Sutcliffe. And I could never, ever do anything that he ever did. Um, shout outs, uh, big shout out to my dad. Come, come, you can't hide, hide. It's red, brum, brum. Real like a triple homicide on the block. Killing your brother, your mother, your pops. My dude, fr if you hot, do it in front of the cops. Licking a couple of shots. Don't want to be a victim, you need a king rock. A plug in the iron and he trying to kickbox. So sorry, no karate, go home, my shoddy, come on. Bless my lips. Who don't pull no triggers? Most I got delivers. We are true believers. Devil try use us, but it can win us. Living in this world full of sinners. Smart like strat dealers. Iniquity leaders. Living in the name of Jesus. Foundation youth, they can betray us. Cool and the days, Babylon used to slay us. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can run away. I want to run, go. Okay.